Hi everyone, my name is Shinsuke Agehara. I'm a plant physiologist at the University of Florida, IFAS Gulf Coast Research and Education Center. Strawberry is one of our main crops. It is a winter crop, but heat stress can be still a big problem. So today I'd like to talk about how we can manage heat stress in strawberry production using reflective plastic mulch. Before I start my presentation, I'd like to thank funding agencies, collaborators, and my group for the support on this project. I'm really thankful that uh, I have a great team. I enjoy working with my team, and none of the things I'm presenting today was not possible without the support, uh, financial support from funding agencies or the support from my group and collaborators. So why do we have heat stress with this winter crop? Well, that's because the growing season of strawberry starts when it's still really hot. This calendar shows the average maximum daily temperature in degrees Celsius. Traditionally, the planting date used to be around 15th October. At this time, the maximum temperature can exceed 30 degrees Celsius, which is 86. And this is well above the optimum temperature for strawberry. So this is already a stressful condition, particularly for flower initiation. But these days, we are planting even earlier. The earliest planting date now is around 20 September. And temperature at that time is even greater. So now you can see plants are exposed to a greater heat stress and also plants are exposed to stress for many more days than they used to be in the past. So why are we planting earlier when we can expect to have more heat stress? That's because of the market price of strawberries in the US. In this figure, yellow bars represent monthly production of strawberries in Florida. You can see the production starts in November, then it goes up, peaks in March, then rapidly drops down in April. Market price has the opposite trend. The market price in December is the highest, $18 per flat. Then the price dropped down. Market price in April is only $7 per flat, which is less than 30% of the price in December. So growers are trying to maximize fruit production during the early season in December and January when market price is the highest by planting earlier than they used to do before. Sometimes this works, but this is a risky decision because we have to make sure that the effect of heat stress is not gonna uh, impact too much on the fruit uh, development. In this slide, I like to illustrate the difference between black plastic mulch and deflective plastic mulch in terms of the effect on growing condition. During the initial growth stage, if you have black plastic mulch, most of the light can be absorbed on the plastic mulch and that energy will become heat. At this time, temperature is already exceeding the optimum temperature, so additional heat will become heat stress on young plants during the establishment. If you have deflective plastic mulch, deflective plastic mulch can be white mulch or metallized mulch that can deflect the major portion of the sunlight. You will not have this uh, heat heating effect. Instead, the plastic mulch can keep the mulch surface and the soil cooler. So this is beneficial because it can reduce heat stress during establishment. During the late growth stage, plants will become larger and the canopy will cover the most of the mulch surface. And so most of the light will just hit the plant canopy and the light will be used uh, for photosynthesis. The only exposed part of the bed is the shoulder. The light hitting the shoulder can still create heat. So if you have black plastic mulch, you will have warming effect. At this time, soil warming can be beneficial because temperature will be cooler 
and it is often below the optimum temperature. So soil warming can promote plant growth and also crew development. If you have deflective plastic mulch, you will not get this uh, warming effect. So you can see there are pros and cons in each plastic mulch. In the past, all strawberry growers used to use black plastic mulch. And that's because we believe warming effect is beneficial during the fruit production period that occurs during the cooler months in winter. But these days, we are planting uh, earlier and increasing the heat stress during establishment. We also have different varieties which vary in uh, the sensitivity to heat stress. So we, we have to find out which plastic mulch is optimum for the current strawberry production system. Then uh, we decided to design the new plastic mulch. This is the new plastic mulch that have deflective stripe on the top of the bed. The idea is to have the dual benefits of black mulch and deflective mulch. During the initial growth stage, we have the deflective stripe on the top of the bed that can deflect the light and create cooling effect. During the late growing season, this plastic mulch have black shoulder, so it can still get warming effect. So in the next slide, I'm going to share the research data comparing different plastic mulch films. Field experiments were performed at GCREC in BAM. We did experiments over four seasons, starting from 2015-16 season. We used four different varieties. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about the data of only radiance. We tested five different plastic mulch, black, white on black, metallized, white stripe, and metallized stripe. The experiment had uh, four to five replications, and we used split plant design. I'm going to start with the yield data. This is the yield data from 2017-18 season. You can see five treatments, black, white, white stripe, metallized, metallized stripe. We have early season yield, November, January, late season yield from February, and total season yield. You can see all deflective mulch treatment increased early season yield by 33 to 52%. So this is a great yield increase. We found that yield increase was the greatest for metallized stripe mulch, 52%, and it was statistically significant compared to black mulch. For the late season yield, we did not find statistical difference, but we found yield increases for all deflective plastic mulch. Yield improvement was from 4% to 24%. What I like to point out here though is that the stripe mulch yield improvement was better compared to 100% deflective. For example, the white stripe mulch yield improvement was 18% compared to only 9% for white plastic mulch. Yield improvement was 24% for metallized stripe mulch compared to only 4% for metallized mulch. And if you look at the total season yield, yield increases by deflective mulch treatment were from 15% to 34%. And again, yield improvement was greater for stripe mulch treatment compared to 100% deflective. So this data shows that all deflective mulch films are effective in improving early season yield. But if the mulch has the stripe design, then that mulch might be able to increase or maintain the yield improvement effect, even during the late season. And we can achieve yield improvement for the total season yield as well. In this slide, we try to compare the effect of deflective mulch treatment on canopy growth and fruit development. So in all my experiments, we monitored the canopy size throughout the experiment 
by taking overhead photos and analyzing the images. And this figure shows canopy cover area. So basically canopy size between black mulch and metallic stripe mulch. And throughout the season, we did not find any difference between the two treatments. So, so that means we found yield improvement, but the plant growth or canopy size was not affected by the mulch treatment. Then we did a correlation test between yield and fruit number. And we found significantly high correlation, about 0.8. So that means yield improvement was because that the plants were able to produce more flowers and more fruit without changing the plant size. So all these data together suggest that fruit development is more sensitive to heat stress than canopy growth. The vegetative can canopy growth, they have different sensitivity to temperature. So the plants can maintain the, the good canopy development or vegetative growth even at higher temperature. But a fruit development is more sensitive to heat stress. So fruit development can be severely inhibited at high temperature, even when plants have normal vegetative growth. Next, we looked at microenvironments. He's my former student, Steven. He used different environmental sensors to characterize changes in microenvironments between different mulch films. So first, we use thermography cameras. So in this uh, thermographic images, you can see for black mulch, you can see the uniform warming effect across the beds. And for uh, fully metallized mulch, you can see uniform cooling effect across the bed. But on a metallized stripe mulch, you can see cooling effect only within the stripe part. But you can also find warming effect on the shoulder of the bed if you look at the difference in the color. This data is the soil temperature data from October to January for different plastic mulch films. And we found that only black mulch, the heating was great, that the temperature was, uh, the temperature was, uh, went above uh, 30 degrees Celsius. So 30 degrees Celsius, we consider this is a very high stress temperature. When we had white stripe or metallized stripe plastic mulch, temperature was maintained below 30 degrees Celsius throughout the season. So that means the reflective mulch treatment were able to minimize the, the heat stress in the soil. And the maximum temperature reduction in October was 3.1 and it was 2.7 in November. In another experiment, we also monitor temperature, not only in the soil, but at different position, right underneath the plastic mulch, right on the top of plastic mulch, and also five centimeter above mulch. And we found temperature reduction at every position. We also monitored crown tissue temperature. We used a thermocouple wire. It was inserted inside the crown tissue. And we monitored the crown tissue temperature throughout the season. And we found very, very similar trend as the soil temperature. You can see under the black mulch, crown tissue temperature was above 30 degrees Celsius, whereas the crown tissue temperature for other mulch treatment were able to be maintained below uh, uh, 29. So we talked about temperature control effect of deflective mulch treatment, but the light reflection will have different beneficial effect. So that's what we are going, and uh, that's what I'm going to talk about in the next few slides. So first, of, uh, first. Light reflection can improve uh, photosynthesis. This is the amount of light that can be reflected from black mulch and metallized mulch. Black mulch will absorb most of the light, so light reflection is very, very small. 
but from reflect from metal light stripe much, we can get more than 90% of light reflection. So when we have light reflection, plants can get light not only from sunlight, but also from, uh, uh, from the bottom of the canopy. And uh, the light is very important for photosynthesis. So what we did here is we tried to measure photosynthesis uh, under two different conditions. One, with the leaf receiving light from the top of the leaf. Second, the leaf receiving light only from bottom side of the leaf. And we measure photosynthesis with different amount of light. And this yellow line represents photosynthesis response when the leaf is receiving the light from the top. And you can see nice response and photosynthesis increase with more light and maximizing around 15 micromole. But leaf is still efficient in photosynthesis even when it's receiving the light only on the bottom side. It shows a similar response and the maximum photosynthesis was about 10 micromole, so about 60% compared to the deep receiving the light on the top side. So, so that means when plants are grown on reflective mulch, they can maximize the amount of light to capture and they can improve photosynthesis and the photosynthesis will produce carbohydrate important for plant growth, but also for the fruit production. Another beneficial effect of light reflection is indirect effect to promote flower initiation. So some of the lights before it hit the plastic mulch surface will be absorbed by, by the canopy. And the leaves absorb specific wavelength of light. So this is the light quality of sunlight. You can see the uniform spectrum uh, distribution. And this is the light quality of the light passing through one layer of the leaf. And you can see great reduction in, in this range. This is the blue light and this is the red light. And, but the leaf does not absorb far the right, which is, uh, which is here on the right part of the, the figure. So the biggest change is in red to far red ratio. Red to far red ratio is 1.5 for sunlight, but it's below 0.2 if the light is passing through one leaf layer. And that light with different quality can bounce off on the reflective surface of the mulch and then uh, hit the canopy. So this light, there are studies showing that low red to far red ratio light can improve our flower initiation. So we think that the reflection of this Raw red to far red ratio light can improve our flower initiation. So this is uh, another effect, another beneficial effect of uh, deflective uh, plastic mulch. So in summary, deflective plastic mulch creates more favorable microenvironments for fruit development throughout the growing season. We found consecutive yield increases over four growing seasons. Early season yield increase can be up to almost 60%. Total season yield increase is up to 30%. And we also found that deflective plastic mulch is effective for both bare root and the plug strawberry transplants. The magnitude of yield increases depend on stress sensitivity of cultivars. For example, radiance is, is known to be more sensitive to heat stress than other varieties. And we found more a greater yield increases compared to other varieties, which might be more tolerant to heat stress, such as uh, sensation. I also have to talk about drawbacks of metallized film. One of the drawbacks is that the sprinkler irrigation with high pH water, when pH is greater than 7.5, it can fade aluminum coatings on metallized films. So the metallized uh, surface of the film, this is actually aluminum. It's an aluminum coating. And this aluminum 
can dissolve in water if the pH of the water is greater than 7.5. Sprinkler irrigation is a common practice during the establishment. So if you know that the, that the water you are using for sprinkler irrigation has high pH, then uh, the metallized films are not recommended because you can lose the deflective property. Another drawback of metallized films is that they are more stiff than black or white on black mulch films. So the installation could be more complicated. So it, it is more difficult to make the nice shape bed. The recommendation based on, on this study, we recommend using deflective mulch films, especially when planting strawberries before October 10th. Earlier you plant, the greater heat stress plants will receive. That's when you can get greater benefit of the metallized, uh, the greater benefit of deflective plastic mulch. We recommend using white on black mulch if fading of aluminum coatings or stiff texture of metallized mulch films are problematic. And the white mulch, uh, we found that uh, metallized mulch can improve yield a little bit greater than white mulch, but the white mulch is still effective. And uh, so, you know, this is a very easy method to improve uh, fruit production, especially during the season, because all you have to do is just to change the plastic mulch. So that is it for my presentation today. Uh, and I have a few more slides about hops. Just wanted to share some updates on the hop project. This is one of the new crops we are studying at our research center. And in the last couple of seasons, we've been getting a great success. And uh, you know, our climate is not suitable for hop production, but uh, we install LED light in the half year and changing the, the photo period so we can time the flowering at the right time. Right now, our hops can grow all the way to the top of the trellis. This is 18 feet high. And the yield is getting very close to the commercial average yield. And this is the small video showing the hop yield during the day and also during the night. And you can see the light will turn on in the evening and it stays on until midnight, creating a 16 to 17 hours of photo period. We do this during the, the early growth stage to inhibit flowering. When we see vines growing all the way to the top, then we turn off the LED lights and the photo period will go back to between 13 to 14 hours. And that's gonna be the, the right environment for plants to promote flowering. Then we can have plants produce flowers at the right time, what at the time we want. And now we found that we can harvest up twice a year in spring and the fall. We share a lot of information from the HAP project or from for other projects in my program through Facebook or uh, YouTube. I have a Facebook page just for the HAPS project. On the YouTube, I uh, upload uh, many different uh, videos, uh, some from HAPS and some from different projects. So if you are interested, uh, please follow the Facebook or YouTube. And thank you so much again for your attention and watching uh, the updates on the HAPS project. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. If you have any questions, uh, please email me uh, at any time. Thank you so much.